This is going to be one of the best passing concepts in Madden 24, or at least it's been one of the best concepts really all, all throughout Madden history. And we're gonna give it to you in this video. And that's gonna come out of the Gun Bunch offset formation. You can utilize the same passing concept and principle from other bunch formations, as well as other formations in general. But the foundation for this passing concepts comes to us out of the Gun Bunch formation. Now I'm in the Cincinnati Bengals um, offensive playbook. I did a video on the channel a few days ago where I talked about why I believe that Cincinnati is gonna be the best offensive playbook day one in Madden 23 for a variety of different for reasons if you want to check that out um you can check that out over the channel but this is one of the best plays in the game every single year and it comes to us out of the gun bunch offset formation and the play we're going to be taking a look at here is verts halfback under now one of the reasons this play is so effective is because you can run it in a variety of different ways to make it effective against a variety of different coverages the way we're going to run this format or th in this year's game one of the best things that you could do with this is you could basically just quick throw this wheel against uh, cover one or cover zero. And it was a really effective way to beat man coverage quick to the flat. Now, when you couple that with the fact that these wheels for years have given zone a lot of trouble. So ex an example here is this tight end. You see, I can throw that wheel route into the seam area of the field. It makes this play really good because you want to have a man uh, beating option and you want to have a zone beating option well in madden 24 um you can still utilize this play at a pretty high level so uh what we're going to do with this setup is we are going to um basically run it like this we're going to put our solo wide receiver on an out route we're going to wheel our running back and then with this slot receiver here this is kind of the key receiver you have to use to beat man coverage now in Madden 24, most teams don't have Hot Route Master. I don't think there's any regs team that has Hot Route Master. Uh, but what you can do is you can put him on a quick slant. If you wanted to put him on a quick slant, you could also put him on a smart route and in route um, right here. Or the, another thing that you could do uh, with this with this player here is you could also put him on a uh, slaughter press post. Ideally, you want to put him on the slaughter press post, but you can uh, certainly leave him on the crosser. But what you're going to see here is now we have these other wheel routes on the field. And then what's going to happen is this crosser. Um, and of course, I think I accidentally re audible back to play. You see the crosser doesn't beat man as well uh, in Madden 23, but I'm pretty sure that I've heard that this crosser beats man relatively effectively in, in Madden 24. But the bottom line is if it you can utilize the slaughter apprentice post and it beats man a little bit better than the slaughter proud uh the slaughter apprentice crosser the other thing that you have uh with this with this play is like perfect spacing horizontally across the field and again if you want to put that smart routed in route on the field that can also do a really good job um of beating man-to-man -man coverage consistently i'll show it to you here again so you see, see how he gets that sharp cut, gets that separation, and he's able to beat man coverage. So if your crosser is not working in a Madden, like there's been Maddens where the crosser is not that good, um, utilize other routes. You just want some kind of little short in-breaking route. I mean, honestly, something as simple as a slant, if you look at where this gets to, and again, I just, for whatever reason, these slants are running weird, but if you look at where that slant route's gonna get to, it's gonna get to a place on the field that is really awkward for the defense to have to defend because you're going to throw it over in that little pocket. And as you can see, um, that creates really good spacing, almost kind of a, a three-level flood um, on the left side. Now, in Madden 23, one of the big things that changed from Madden 22 uh, was that this play, these wheel routes, were no longer super effective against man coverage. Now, because of the latest update, you can still kind of freeform and high point the running back wheels to beat man coverage because they, don't, they oftentimes don't have deep route knockouts on the field. But generally speaking, um, you know, the wheel routes aren't super great at being able to beat man coverage consistently. Now, we don't know if that's going to be the case in Madden 24 or not. But if it is, that's fine. You need to then zero in again on your slot apprentice post. And then if that truly, if, if neither one of these routes beat man, then what you might want to do is, you know, again, like we were able to quick throw these wheels uh, to the right side to beat man coverage this year. OK, now let's talk about zone coverage, because that's where this play really shines is how it breaks down zone coverage really, really, really well. So what you're going to notice here um, that this play is going to do for you specifically against zone is first and foremost, you have this quick throw out route so that that forces 
either a man up or hard flats on that left side of the screen. So they have to have some kind of uh, flat defender. So typically what that might look like would be, you know, again, they're going to have to go through some links to adjust this. Um, you know, you might have this guy in a flat, this guy in a yellow, and then, you know, they're maybe using this hook curl, for example. So they have to have hard flats on both sides of the field to be able to defend this. And those hard flats have to play with good leverage. Um, the other thing is, you see there, see how that tight end was defended by the hook curl? Typically, what's going to happen is that hook curl defender is going to be forced to have to choose. Am I going to guard the tight end or am I going to guard that uh, slot apprentice crosser or that slot apprentice post? So what you'll see here is you can kind of hit that. Now, in this year's game, and I'll show you the running back route, the user is also going to kind of be put into no, into no man's land. Because what will happen is the user is now also going to have to choose. So if he chooses the crosser like he does right here, then we can throw that wheel route to the left side just like that. If the user sides, well, I've got to go uh, defend that. I'm going to rely on that hook curl to do the work on the left side, and I'm going to use the running back out of the backfield. That's where things start to really uh, become advantageous for us because then this little high point right there, wide open over the middle, and that will be true if it's a slant route, an in route, or a post route. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I think it's best um, if it is like a post because the post gets the best combination of the sharp cut to beat man, but also the depth to be able to consistently beat zone because you can throw this late in the play and the running back will now serve as like a clear out route over on that side of the field. Now, this gets even harder for them to defend the more um, they have to adjust to the running back. So you'll see right here, another thing against cover three is you can throw this back in there and you see all these little windows that these vertical seam routes are going to be able to provide for you. This is why wheel routes year over year have been one of the best routes in Madden for as long as I've been playing. They're really good routes. You Ideally, the best way to defend them from my experience is to try to cross man them which doesn't always work. Um, but you'll also see here against cover two, then I can throw that deep uh, that deep route over there on the left side to um, to that to that guy over the, on the on the or I'm sorry on the right side there. So you're able to throw that. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you here, so let's say they really go through it and they make some adjustments, you know they're really adjust, adjusting to the defense. Maybe they do some cross man. Uh, again, you got a vertical hook here, and then we also have a hard flat. I want to show you what happens with this running back wheel because I'm going to use her. Uh, basically, I'm going to use her the, the crosser with the middle linebacker. What will happen with this running back a lot of the times is you can throw this in that little window. If they don't have flat zone knockout, that's going to be wide open for you. So typically, again, that's where the man up is going to be super, super important. Now, one of the most popular adjustments to bunch this year – has been this basic adjustment sequence. And then on the right side, playing some type of zone, typically, honestly, it might look something like this. Okay, and then they're gonna use her this, um, I double flat at the right. So let's say that's a standard adjustment concept and they're gonna use the crosser. It's gonna leave your running back one-on-one -on -one against man coverage. And that's where you wanna free form and high point and let that computer give herself that little over the basket catching animation. A lot of times that is gonna be good enough um, to be able to literally just destroy uh, any kind of zone or any kind of man up. They have to have an outside third over the top to help with that over the top catch. Or, or if they don't, then it's going to be a risky, uh, as you can see there. I mean, that's what's going to happen a lot. So this concept, if you just think about it from a concept perspective, don't think about it from like Madden 22 to Madden 23 to Madden 24. Uh, just just think about it from a concept perspective. You have a, a play that is really spacing the field well, and the routes are running themselves open against both man and zone coverage, and that is the makings of one of the best passing concepts year over year. So Vert's Halfback Under is always a great place to start in Madden. Does this play work? How does this play work? There's other ways to make this play work. So, for example, if this crosser is good, you can run a setup like this, which is similar to PA read, but now your crosser is significantly deeper than the PA read crosser that we saw uh, earlier in the year. So how can I build around the crosser? Or in, in other years, um, let me give you another example. So in other years, you've been able to do maybe something like this. Um, and then, you know, on the left side, maybe you do something like this. But what you'll see here is I can quick throw this flat against cover three. 
So you want to test all that stuff out in Madden 24, but it's a great concept to start the year out in to try to see how are the wheel routes working, how's the crosser working, how's that running back quick throw on that in route, is that good? Um, typically, these seam wheels are really effective, and if you couple that with um, a nice man-beating crosser in the middle of the field, it really helps to space the field horizontally and vertically simultaneously. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out my entire Bengals offensive playbook, it's a great place to start in terms of getting prepared for Madden 24. You can join the Patreon by clicking the link down in the description for just 10 bucks.